that was the trailer for Martian Manhunter from we showed at Evo. Let's get started. We have uh, Paulo and John here, the lead designers of Injustice. So, Evo, what was the reaction um, to the Martian Manhunter video? Yeah, um, it was it was um, pretty pretty well received. Um, the thing I was surprised is um, is um, is um, is um, is, um, is um, how hyped people were for the John Stewart skin. Mm -hmm. Like um, like um, we saw uh, we saw Devil May Spy, who's actually being a stream monster. In, in in the box, jumping up and down, like he went nuts when he saw the John Stewart skin. But the uh, but uh, but but I think people are pretty hyped about the Martian Hunter made a video. I mean, there was a lot of fans really wanting the skin. We, I mean, the skin and the character, we got them both. Yep. Um, so when you are creating a character like Martian Manhunter, somebody who's so well known, what do you guys use for uh, reference? Like, how do you how do you make him have the NRS style yet still have a way, like still follow the comics? Uh, well. Um uh, luckily, DC sends us uh, tons and tons and tons of comics. I saw the stacks. Uh, so we uh, we use that whenever possible. Um, obviously, the internet's a good treasure trove of uh, information as mm -hmm. well. And then we all grew up, you know, reading comics, watching the cartoons. Um, so a lot of these, you know, a lot of these characters are really familiar to us, and um, it's not really hard to uh, uh, find a way to make them do cool stuff in a video game. Yeah, it seems seems like a good thing. Uh, okay, now well, let's uh, let's get. We got Brad over here. He's gonna be playing some Martian Manhunter. We're gonna load the Manhunter up, and let's talk about what what moves of Martian Manhunter really uh, kind of personify the character. Like, what stuff did you guys go? This has to be in. We need this, and that's who the character is. Um, uh, oh, uh, well, I guess the the main thing was uh, he can uh, morph his body into pretty much anything. So we so we took that. And, um, and um, so we made his gameplay be the ability to stretch his limbs. Right. So the majority of his gameplay is based around that, because 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 uh, because um, um, a lot of his a lot of his powers you'll think of them like hey they're similar to Superman or some other character. But we don't want to make sure that he played completely different from anybody else in the cast. Now what he's doing here is like there's certain things with, with Martian Manhunter where some combos probably won't work yes. unless he's using his trait, which is like I guess alien malleability. So yeah. when he does that sort of thing. It can lengthen combos and whatnot. Okay. Yeah, and you can actually activate it at any time, and then um, it's active for a certain amount of time, and then it goes away. And you can see his eyes glow when you have the UI at the bottom that signifies right. how long it lasts. Yeah, but the, there, are, there are specific combos you can do going into it and going out of it. And gotcha. Like Brad's doing right there, is able to stretch out, lengthen a combo that you usually wouldn't be able to with, with using the trait. Yeah. Now, uh, his super move, like, in Injustice, like, the super move kind of defines the character. Like, you look at yeah. Superman, like, shooting the guy in the sky and then throw him to the ground. That defines what the character is. When you create a super move, where does that come from? How do you do it? Who comes up with these? Just sort of run me through doing that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's usually, like, um, a group effort. Like, yeah. um, uh, I'll have a lot of people, like, come up with, you know, what they think might uh, might be really cool. And then we're always trying to challenge ourselves to um, outdo the, the, the previous super. Right. Um, so uh, in this case, it was like you know how can we make Martian Manhunter you know the biggest super and right. like making him grow to uh, to you know huge size and smash uh, to uh, Martian mold it together was uh, was uh, pretty cool. Yeah, that gets up there pretty quick. Um, well, while we're talking about supers, from each of you, what is your what's your favorite super? Mine is probably Bane's. Agreed. Yeah, just overall, like I just like everything Bane does. Yeah, Bane's awesome. Um, I think I like Sinestro. If I had to yeah. pick, um, although Harley is also uh, pretty cool as well. I, I like the the, uh, the comedic uh, angle of her character, but um, to me, the Sinestro thing is just uh, is really cool. It's, oh, it's yeah. on it's on a very grand scale. Yeah, and that's like a lot of the supers sort of just take this like they're they're huge. Like they're leaving the planet for the most part, which is about as big as you can get, I would say. Yeah, leaving the planet. Yeah, I think we set the bar pretty high with the Superman uh, super, which is like the first one that um, that we came up with as a team and. Um, after that, it was just like, hey, how do we just continually outdo this one? So uh, it was right. good to have that kind of uh, uh, pressure behind us. Okay, excellent. Now, Martian Manhunter will come with a compatibility skin, which is the John Stewart yes. Green Lantern, which okay. everyone has been clamoring for. Um, will there be a balance patch with Martian Manhunter? There isn't one coming with Martian Manhunter, but we are. We are Actively working on uh, a balance patch that will come out some point in a later date, but we're we're taking a lot of community feedback. We also have a lot of people coming in and testing, um, but but um, but um, we're gonna we're gonna take our time to release it. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, just some general questions about injustice. I've been reading my Twitter. Everyone's been sending me a ton of tweets lately. Um, just a couple general questions about the game. Um, are there any 
characters that you feel are underutilized who like you might not see on the tournament streams or characters that you don't think people have cracked open enough yet to really start uh, doing some serious damage. Is there any characters you guys can think of? Um, um, I, um, I always like them. I always like them when I'm, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm Chris Shane's doing with Green Arrow. Like, oh, I don't yeah. see a lot of other people utilize Green Arrow to his full potential. But even he doesn't do like stuff just because he, he doesn't, hasn't played the game. Much um, against other people, but the, um, but he's doing just fine. It seems. Yes, he's doing just fine. <laughs> but, uh, it'd be um, it'd be um, it'd be interesting to see um, see um, see his green arrow a few months from now where that's going to be at. Absolutely. Yeah, I think uh, the Flash. Like I think people oh. just now starting to kind of like um, on jump on him. He's kind of a high execution character. Mm -hmm. um, he has lots of tr still finding things with the Flash that like no one's thought of. And like <laughs> I thought I'd try to learn him, and he's much too difficult for me to use. But he does have a lot of tricks, but he's very input heavy, and I'd like to add my own if possible, and that's Nightwing. Yeah. I don't know if you're watching, fella, but there's a guy last night I played as Nightwing who I thought I was going to run over. He did combos that I didn't even know existed. He, uh, I touched him maybe three times, and I feel like I'm a pretty okay character. I think Nightwing, especially in staff stance, has some stuff. He's just a pest. Like, you can't get him off you. It's just tink, 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 full combo. Yes, yeah, so the staff stance was one of those things where like it, it didn't seem like it was going to be super useful at first, you know, until right. we until we started like really getting it fully fleshed out, and it was like, oh wow, this is like really, really, really good trade. Well, the thing about it, it has some definite drawbacks. Like you can't jump as high. Like there's all that sort of thing. But once you find the range of it, especially, is able to just really take take about anybody out. Like I I was amazed. I sent the guy a message. And I was just like. I love you. Was it a nice message? It was really sweet. I don't yeah. send mean messages out. Right. I get a lot of them. I don't send a lot of them out. Yeah, I think um, Harley also falls in that category. Yep. Where, where I think, um, I'm surprised that there aren't that many Harley fanatics out there, where mm -hmm. a lot of times you see people who have these crazy Harley fan pages. But I'm surprised that people haven't just uh, gone to Harley and, um, and played a, a ton of her. We did see some of her at Evo. There was some really high level yeah. Harley play. Uh, uh, Del Retch actually plays a really good Harley. Um, yeah, Harley's a character that's it's so tough to like really figure out her blocking pattern. Like yeah. just learning her, and then once she gets in, it's just like her like standing reset was out of the cast is execution heavy for me. Yeah, so. she's she's really unpredictable, which kind of absolutely fits with her personality and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of a, a perfect marriage. Absolutely. What, what other kind of thing else you guys would like to add about the design process? Anything? you want to tell the people? Um, um, I just think that people need to give the game a little more time to play out. Like, I think a lot of people assume that they know everything within a couple of hours of playing a character, where a lot of times in fighting games, you just need to let stuff, let stuff, like, almost like, almost like just build um, over time, because right. people figure out how to counter stuff, and somebody figure out how to counter that, and a lot of time, a lot of stuff just takes time to figure out. It's just layers upon layers of you. this, I'll learn yeah. this. Well, and I can echo that because I play Grundy pretty much primarily and just today I've seen really people do that yeah. and I was really proud of myself because that's the first tech I've ever invented. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's really easy I think for people to kind of fall into a, uh, fall into like a, um, fall into like, you know, like, 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 a, like a habit, you know, like they, they see other people play a character right. a certain way yeah. and it just becomes, oh, that's the way that character plays and um, uh, they don't really like, you know, in the lab and kind of figure out their own stuff mm -hmm. sometimes, but um, you know, over the, over the course of the game, I think people start uh, start finding some of the little hidden gems that are in there. Yeah. And they also have to play against the player sometimes too. Oh, absolutely. Or like a lot of times you just have to, so sometimes you have to study your opponent and be able to use what you know about them against them, as opposed to just you and using your character's bread and butters and stuff mm -hmm. that works and doesn't work. Well, it's very easy to kind of get just caught in this little trap of like, this, this move always works, always works. Like, I have the forward one, the the kick into the grab with Grundy, but now people know they can jump out of it, and like, I have to learn then how to beat that, and it's just... I, I think you're right, people need to give this game more time to really start learning all the levels, and just the matchups themselves are... Um, one cool thing that Marsh Manor has... He actually can um, ear dash in the ear, and then um, from his ear dash, he can actually cancel into another ear dash, so he actually has like full-on ear, ear, ear footsies. Right, like 
Brad's doing right there. What can you do off of that, Brad? Can it costs a bar meter, but uh, you can get around. And, uh, and then meter burn yourself back to the original sign and come down. Yeah, I think he's the one character that has, that has a yep. uh, meter burnable, um, basically navigation. Right. Well, it's a good it's a good keep like you can get away from people real quickly that way, or also just yeah. yeah I think we're gonna find a lot of uses for it. Like it's, yeah, uh, it's it's pretty good. Well, it's great for cross ups too. Like that's really awesome. Anything else we want to add before we move on to Brad showing some gameplay? Uh, no, I, I'm excited mm -hmm. to see. Uh, See what Slips has. Yeah, let's see it. I think he's figured some stuff out. So I'm Paulo for speaking with us. Out, Marshall Manhunter. Excellent. Man, Slips. Hanging out with Tyler here. How's it going? My phone just fell. Okay. So we're gonna, Brad's going to kind of discuss now how to use Martian Manhunter. How to get in with Martian Manhunter. What do you got? Pretty much uh, one of the main strengths of Martian Manhunter is his anti-zoning is really good. He's got like this teleport here that's kind of sectorish. The sector players will really enjoy that. He can kind of do it instantly in the air to make it faster, so sector players can feel at home. He can also do uh, an overhead version, which I've been doing a lot. This one's really good because you can't punish it on block. And uh, it's just good. You can just, it's, the only way to really punish it is they have to do a meter turn back three or they have to forward dash. Kind of like uh, Doom's this move for the casual player is like going to be one of your go-to moves. He can also blow up anti-zoning with, like Paul said, the uh, The meet to burn air dash. So, I mean, you can't. I won't consider myself a high level player at all, but in the casual community, a lot of people have trouble fighting against just gunshot, 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 gunshot. Yeah. That won't be happening with Martian Man. No. Not even close. He's, he's one of the better ones. I'd say, like, him, Scorpion, like, they're up there with blowing up zone. He also ha he can use his trait too. <laughs> so how do you, like, when you're... Like, you know, uh, Catwoman's uh, jump two. Think of that. Jumping uh, medium. Same thing. Look at that. It's awesome. So if you're awesome. playing as Martian Manhunter and you're playing against, say, uh, bang, anybody, you're playing against somebody, how do you start? How do you get in with Martian Manhunter? What's your first get thing you want to do? Yeah. Well, he can just, well, he can, his, he can just jump at you and you got to guess. Tool. This is an overhead, and he just kind of just gets in on that okay. business, and uh, he's business, and uh, he's got a good sweep. It's pretty. It's kind of punishable, but it's got really good range, and like I mean, obviously, no one's gonna out prioritize a laser, so you'll be good to go there. He's also got this move, which is kind of just covers all the bases, and pretty much just like whatever they're doing, it catches most people jumping too. Like it's pretty much just get out of my face. And he almost always says something right there. Like okay. He always like talks smack at that point, which is great. All right, so when you're playing against Martian Manhunter, what, as a player, are his weaknesses? What do you want to look for from Martian Manhunter as another player to capitalize on? I'd say his biggest weaknesses is at mid-range. Like, he doesn't, like, this is kind of good, but it's just okay. It's nothing crazy. Like I said, this is super punishable. So, and it can be, if you jump on him, he's, he's kind of done. Um, but I would say one of his biggest weaknesses is like his, his, the way for him to open you up, he's got to kind of take a risk if he wants to do damage. Because this move is the move that scales the least amount. So this move does the most damage, but it's punishable. So on like his low, you can cancel into this and he gets, you know, a bunch of damage. And then his overhead, he can do the same thing. But again, it's, it's punishable. He's going he's gotcha. gonna to eat it. He can play it safe. And like kind of hit confirm into that, but that's only like 30%. So you like you can play it safe and kind of dibble dabble. Right. 
and then this you don't dibble dabble. You go straight for the. Floor. I I if I'm in, right? I want my I want my moolah, man. Yeah. So <laughs> Your moolah, my gotcha. moolah. So yeah, so that's I would say his weakness. He's kind of kind of take a risk if he wants to if he wants to really open you up. But he does have one of the best throw ranges in the game, like him and Flash. I think like look at that. He's like, close. Look at that guy. He's grabbing like his chest hairs. <laughs> it's awesome. Like he, well, he's we got do, really good throw range. Well, you might not know, all the designers do render every individual chest hair in the game, so those are actually grabbable in the game. So that's actually that the, would that's explain. He's got those long fingers, man. Yeah, he, he exposes them. Well, like alien that. malleability. We've talked about this. That's true. We don't know what's going on on Mars sometimes. So give it. Give us like. Give us. Give us a Martian Manhunter. Big old combo. Big old combo. I've been doing a lot of them. I'll do. Um, let's see. Let's do this one. See if I can do this under pressure. So far, not looking good. Not not looking good. Oh, I had <laughs> it. I you failed. backed up after you hit it. I was like, I surely failed. <laughs> this is why I got bodied at Evo. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the reason. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably watch the TV too. This is a good oh idea. yeah, that's probably a good idea. I, I should look at the TV it. instead of. Uh, Instead of the uh, stream thing, that would help me. Oh, terrible! Four thousand people watching. This, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess we can say this: um, Martian Manhunter does have big combos. <laughs> I, I did it. I did it a bunch of times before. As of right now, they have not been found. Yeah. So I, I want to leave something for the people, man. Well, I'll tell you what: when 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 John and Paula were talking, he was doing combos. Yeah. He, without he, me saying, "Hey, Brad, do this combo yeah. right now." I'm gonna blame the lag on this on this monitor. Okay. Yeah. That's real <laughs> cool, dude. Anything else you want to add about Martian Manhunter? No, he's pretty fun. Like he's he's really cool. I like him. Would you would you say he's a high execution character like we've been talking about like your flashes, your I would say the hardest thing to learn about him is his zoning. He um you kind of kind of control where these things go. Mm -hmm. And the, it's cool cuz the meter burn version you can just be lazy. Like, oh, like this thing all like the meter burn version this always homes in on him. So, right. it's like, oh, I don't feel like thinking right now and you just do that one. And then same thing with that thing. So, it's pretty cool. That thing's cool too. That he's cool. He's got a lot of interesting tools to work with that I think people will really find really good. So what we've learned today is that he's cool mm -hmm. and his combos are hard. Yes. Okay. Yes. And here's the deal, guys. What you can do is you can go back to the beginning of this video when we yeah. uploads, watch all that stuff when Brad was doing the comp. There it is. What's up when now? I, when I'm not talking. What's up now? Let's end it right there. 47% from Martian Manhunter. I'm out. Round of applause. Yeah, it's, I think you've... Why you gotta be all up in my grill about the combo, man? I, re I really went hard on you. You know why? Because I want you to Why are you well. watching what I was doing before? No, I was too busy talking to the, those oh, guys. Oh, man. I Let's was get, nailing uh, it, dude. Let's get Der uh, Derek up real quick. We have a little fun experiment for Derek, okay? All right. So, Mr. Good Curtis. Good games, everyone. Good games. Thank you, Brad, very much for your no insight. Problem. So, right here, we got Derek Kurtzik. Hello. Associate designer? Yeah, that's the title. Grab your stick. Can I have the stick, please? The stick. So, I really enjoyed Derek, and I wanted to find a place for him in this stream. So... So we wanted to find a place for him in the stream, so what we're doing is we're going to have Derek play against Martian Manhunter on very hard. That, that's fair, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, I'm not very good at this game. Actually, I'm extremely good at this game. That See, was all a lie. That was that's all the thing. Lie. Derek is a very talented player, but we decided to give him a really funny thing where he will play him very hard. Yeah. Ask, so. ask the stream who she should play as. Uh, oh, uh, wow. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> uh, so, stream. Let's do this. Uh, we got Hector Sanchez over there. He's looking at the stream chat. Who should Derek play against very hard Martian Manhunter? And Hector will choose his favorite, which is even worse. That's like two well, levels. He, he could do his best character now. We'll do, oh. your be we'll do his best character, and then we'll, we'll, well just ask the stream. Popular. I'm great at all of them, really. Right. So, I mean. So, we're going to get going best. here. Uh, we're going to. Jeez. Uh, um. Derek's really happy that he gets to be the one to, uh, and I want to. I want to say, to start, you're a very talented player. Thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate. You've taught it. me a lot about this game. Mm. You've beaten me many times. 
Mm-hmm. If there were a fantasy league for Injustice, you'd be my third or fourth pick. Really? Think so? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, after that, Brad would be like seven. I mean, so. the Heck Tech is amazing. Let's yes. not all, let's not lie about it. Uh, Hector's that. number one, obviously. Oh, who does Hector play great. again? Great, Superman. Oh, right, Superman. Right. Actually, that's where Katie Z learned his moves. Oh, so didn't Hector, know that. Yeah, know he that. played him online. Yeah, fact. Fact. <laughs> if you say fact after something, it's always true. Right. Fact. So we got who you playing as Batman? This is the Bat. Okay. Yes. So here we go. Did you put a button on check? Or? Button check. Button I gotta check do a button everybody. check. You, know, you can't just run into those things. See, did, would have been off. Would have been off. Did you put it on very hard? Yeah, of course I did. All right, here we go. All right, here it is. This is gonna be fun to watch. All right. Uh, all right. I can't even get resume right. Okay. Let's see how many times Martian Manhunter drops a comic. Oh well, there's. <laughs> <laughs> and it started out pretty well. Okay, good. Oh, it's not gonna be a perfect. Oh. oh okay. Yep, Man, yep. We're gonna need try. some of that. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Man, steal my combos. Ah, uh, no. Uh, he, if he would have stolen, I the combo, almost he hit dropped him. it. I almost hit him. He saw that. Yes. There we go. I'm gonna call that a victory right there. Woo! If you just stay on that side and keep using it, no. No, that doesn't work because he can teleport. Yeah, he sure can. Yeah. All right. Just throw that out there. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> that'll work. Maybe. Up. Oh, up. Oh, oh. Got him. He's mine now. There we go. Full combo punish. Or is 60 a bit? Party time. Party. No. Oh. No. Party's over. Party's over. And jumping at him doesn't work. <laughs> Try it one more time. Work. Try yeah. one more time. Aha! It's because he had the world in his hands. The whole world. There we go. Oh, and I dropped. I'm oh. feeling. Oh. Ooh. So it's a three out of five set for his job. Three out of five set for your job, Hector Whoa. says. <laughs> you know, I was just supposed to go on and lose, and I'm doing pretty dang good, thank you. I told Derek, I was, like, I was like, it'd be cool if you lost, you know, just because to show how good the character is, but then we played against him, and he actually is really good. Ugh. Nope. Yeah. Are you, are you recording this? Oh, on Wake Up, on Wake Up, drop <laughs> the you. EX ball. Thank you. Um, actually, whew. Game on it up? Yeah. Game With on you from up. the game. I'm going to take my hoodie off, just because that will help. That will help. Ugh. It's just getting too hot in here, you know? You said turn the game audio off? Oh. Up. Can you turn the game, game audio up in the game real quick for us, too? Who are you talking to? You. Mm. Um. Hector, who? Yeah, you. Do you know how to? Go to the main menu. On the game. Oh. Yeah, I'm like, what are you talking about? All right, fair enough. Who are we, who are we playing as, then, too, Hector? He's going to play Hawk Girl next. Oh. Oh. That's my main. No problem. Uh, nope. AB. Back forward, too, man. Oh. This is wonderful. I shouldn't probably watch the monitor. I should probably watch the TV. Yeah, we try to teach Brad that. Yeah. Music and uh, announcer. You guys want to hear that a little louder? Oh, nobody wants to hear that. There we go. That good? That's we'll good. see. All right, so Derek is now going to play Martian Manhunter <sighs> with Hot Girl. Game face. Let's Game do face. this. Is it, is it old one? Uh, it's yeah, 01 AI right up, now. AI is up, AI is up yes. AI is up on you. All right. Well, you can you can thank Portillo and Eric for that. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. They did really good. Yeah. That's, AI. Yeah. Mm. So do hot girls. Let's, let's do see what uh, skin we got. Ooh. Let's do Earth two. Earth two sounds good. <sighs> Commence the beam. Let's do this. Do you play much do hot you girl? Say, where are we putting? We them? always do very hard. Oh. Do you play hot girl a lot? Oh yeah, all, all day. Okay. Yeah. Away we'll towards two. Got it. Slips any any tips? Yes, that was gonna be mine. Yeah, back yeah. forward two. There it is. Back forward two. Okay, I'm ready. Is the stream blowing Derek up yet? Uh, no, we're losing viewers actually. So. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like, <laughs> oh man, I'm like, horrible. First stream going well, it seems then. <laughs> Less <laughs> DK. Ah. Uh, I'm just gonna call that a win. There we go. Thank you. What's the next character? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, there we go. Just use uh, interactables. Just left and yeah. 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 Oh. Do you know that one slip? Do you know that <laughs> one? <laughs> that was awesome. Away towards two. Away towards. Uh, yes. No. Oh, he's. That was the baby maker. <laughs> he's obliterating you. 
No, you're doing actually pretty well. I don't know why I'm saying you're obliterating. Hey, you, you know what? You're doing pretty well. I'm just gonna do this. How do you like that, AI? That's fine. That's what uh, that's what no. people do with Hot Girl Online. So. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's just go up in the air. Fly away. Oh. <laughs> Haha. Hold slips. There we go. There we go. You can still do this. You got a clash left. He has full yeah, no, meter. Money. Money. You have full meter. We're money. Oh. 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 This is not. not no, this is it. right where I want him, actually. And super. Now what? Raw, super, uh, oh, blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Ah. Clash? Why could. Oh. I would have been able to clash. Game over. That's O2. Yeah, that's O2. That's O2. So, Derek, you should pick your own character. This time. No, 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 no. Your no, job refuses. To... Okay. No. Okay. No, no. We're gonna go with what the people want. Uh, stream. Let's get it. Let's get a, one more character for Derek. Somebody. Uh, Good. Somebody fun. Better. Lobo. It was like Lobo. Lobo was popular. Lobo is popular today. <laughs> Lobo. That's, so, that sounds terrific. So that Lobo. sounds exactly like who I want to be. Lobo's your main, right? Ah. Uh, they all are. They are. Random select is my main. Ooh. There it is. There it is. That would have been really cool if you've actually won when you said that. Huh. That's good. Thank you. Okay. You got this. You got this. Yeah. I gotta stop looking at that monitor. Mm -hmm. Martian Manhunter. Very, no, no. Uh, very hard. Very I, hard. I go up to get to the bottom. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, very hard. Here we go. Uh, Maybe pick a level you can really use. Right. I'd say go Arkham. Yeah. Um, Maybe Atlantis? There's nothing to throw. I'm Try the pig, man. Yeah, pig, let's do the pig. Pig, pig advantage. Pig. pig advantage. Pig, I need you now. All right. Bring it to me, Porky. <laughs> That's not even a song. I no, mean, I made that up. I made that up. Well, we can't use copyright songs, so we should have our own. That's good. Right. No. Goo. So you want to try to get to the pig as quickly as you can. Check. Check. The pig advantage. The pig advantage. Run, 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 run. <laughs> <laughs> ah! No, no, no. no. Oh, he's, yeah, he's putting me next to the pig. That's kind of, no. No. All right. Operation get the pigs. <laughs> so far, a failure. All right. I got it. Bam! Shot. No. no. Hmm. Hmm. Slips, any tips? Um, huh. Not jump. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ah. Try that roll. Bro. Yeah, do the jump. Yeah, I'm gonna try that in a couple seconds when I get a chance here. If... All right. Ah. There we go. It's just. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the act. Oh. oh. You know that was pretty fast. Maybe we should try one more with a better character. That I. I mean, somebody maybe I can use. Try uh. Who's your business, man? Yeah, I think I, I, think I don't should, know if you I notice. I have Raven. no business. Raven. Raven? Mm. Try Raven or let's let's play with the two and want to see a good match. Did you not see what he was doing before? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You got this, you got this. You got it, man. This is okay. Pressure's on. Last one. I say you pick I, I personally think you should pick who you think you can win with. Oh, we'll go Flash. I said you should pick somebody you think you can win with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this Whoa. is it. This is the grand finale. Right. I'm ready. I'll tell you what. I'm going to play him on medium this time. No. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. Okay. Hector's really following the rules. He, he was not happy with it. Oh, no, no, not medium. We have rules around here. Yeah, let the AI choose the stage. What is up with him? <sighs> you hit him once, you'll get over 50%. Yeah? yeah? If okay. he knew that combo. Does he not know the combo? He might. There we go. Hey, first Did I complete a challenge? Because that'd be nice. It'd be nice to put ah! something here. There we go. Oh! Oh, this is good. This is big, dude. This is big. You got it. It's over. Good game. Oh, this is big. Oh, no. No. Don't let him shoot you through that. Ah. You're cool. Just keep your cool. Keep your cool. You got this. And the good thing is you got like 25 minutes to think every time he hits you. Right. Oh, that's gonna even it up. Oh, <laughs> oh. You were you were so close. Stop. Thank you for reminding me. I was there. I was there as well. Here, I can do it too. Boom. Oh, oh, now what's even? 
Okay. All right. This, All right. this, this is actually. No, I'm just gonna stay right here. I mean, oh, oh, he's coming in, but I'm just stay. Ah! Not the neutral jump. Would psych him out. But... Ah! Let's try. Uh, oh, that was. Ah. I, I guess I could clash. Let's get some health back. Let's. You got this. I heard the entire stream just sigh. Really? Like they they were so behind you. It's not over. It's not over. No. Stay there. Wait for the interactable. You got 54 seconds. Uh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm just trying to move at this point. Would be nice. All right. And, Guys, uh, I succeeded at losing. Thank okay. you. Okay. I gotta say, Derek did a fine job. That's tough. That's tough. It's real tough. It's I, real I'm tough. not going to do it. No. Okay, but good job. We're gonna bring Hector up here. I'm fired, aren't I? It's been nice working with you. Thank you. I'm fired. <laughs> yeah, I knew. Um, Derek, job openings. Check out the website. Thank uh, you. Derek was just fired. Are you staying up there? Are Who? you guys gonna play? You guys should actually play against each other for a little, or unless you're gonna play the AI right now. No, I'll play. I'll, let's lose some more. This sounds great. Play the slips or something. I don't know. Should we? Where are you sitting? You sitting there? Here. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll sit over here. Let's see. You guys sit there. It's cool. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna have a match between Slips and What's up? What's Hector up, here, guys? everybody. I'm looking at the screen, I point the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> we got Hector here, got Derek. No. <laughs> I should actually look at the human beings who are sitting beside me. No, what's going on? Yeah, um thank you everybody that's tuned in to watching. It's pretty uh it's pretty amazing that that many people are in. We're, we're over like five thousand people actually watching this right now, which is uh Pretty cool uh, for us to actually have this. Thanks to everybody that's like tuning in to check this out. Um, remember, Martian Manhunter is available tonight, mm -hmm. overnight tonight. Um, he'll be available to kind of get out there now. As uh, the designer said earlier, he's not part of the uh, season pass two. We're actually um, not going to have a season pass two. The uh, the characters will be released kind of like a la carte, so uh, you'll have to get them out of there initially. When we um, talked about kind of DLC plans, I remember you guys were here. Um, we actually had like four characters mm -hmm. in mind, but the response was so overwhelming and the sales were so good that uh, we decided to, hey, let's go and extend the life of, uh, of the purchasing part of right. Injustice <laughs> as well. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to be supporting the game um, for as long as possible, but um, as far as like actually having characters, the initial plan was just to have four and then it was just overwhelming. Like So many people were hitting us up and telling us that you know, we need different kind of characters, we need more characters. Martian Manhunter being clearly the one that people uh, wanted the most, and um, you know we didn't do ourselves any favors by putting them in Watchtower, and everybody expected them <laughs> to to kind of be on there. But um, yeah, I didn't expect that because I didn't, I knew the initial four, and then like the groundswell was so big that like we had to do. Yeah, we had else. to we had to do extra ones, and uh, you know a lot of people. It, it's funny. Uh, I wish we could kind of explain what our development process was like, but you know, the last few months of Injustice were, were pretty much kind of balancing the game and, and making sure all the characters that we had on the disc were, were kind of balanced. And we didn't even start uh, DLC until after the main game, Injustice, actually shipped. You remember that you were actually in QA. By the way, everybody, give it up for Tyler Lansdowne. Uh, Tyler was a QA tester for a month, and uh, he actually you know, stepped it up really big time, and he applied for our community manager position, and he actually didn't just apply for it, he actually came with already plans of what he wanted to do to kind of grow this community, and really caught the eye of a lot of people in here, so Tyler was going to be a, a pretty big face in, in the community, and he's going to be doing a lot of stuff over there. Definitely contact me, whatever, I mean, and th th things like this, like streams have become such a big thing in video, in especially fighting games, mm -hmm. you know? and doing something like this for the community to, to see the character the night before they come out, maybe maybe doing some stuff when we do have that balance patch, maybe mm -hmm. talk about what we've changed and what we're gonna do next. Yeah, Things exactly. like that, just I mean, it's more just, fan service. It's great to have somebody that actually has the, the bandwidth and time to organize this and put this together. I know you've been running around the last kind of week, you know, trying to get everybody's schedules and, and figuring out a good date and stuff like that, but it just goes to show you kind of the DNA of, of what NetherRealm is all about. Uh, you know, you started in QA, Derek over here started out in QA as a tester. I started in QA. Paulo was testing War Gods back in like 1995 or whatever. I ran that he's... game in high school. Yeah. So there's so, a you know there's a lot of people in the NR studio that have had kind of gone through the the ranks and, and put together their kind of like uh, they've gone through the struggle. So the under, understandably the game that takes uh, 
a lot out of them. They put a lot of their heart and soul and a lot of their passion into it. So it's really cool to kind of have you. I know I give you a lot of hard time. Well, I'm uh, getting used day to giving, after day giving it back to you now. Like starting to get to that point, yeah, so. relax. Like, it's okay, not fair that enough. enough. <laughs> 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 you don't have to do that. But, um, but honestly, the... Um, as far as this goes, like we, we had our first, you know, four kind of characters, uh, you know, a little bit, you know, kind of planned out. We had an idea of what we were going to do. And then once that kind of groundswell started happening for like Martian Manhunter, I know Ed, that was, you know, his really big deal was like, you know what, we got to do more characters. We got to, you know, we have to keep going with this. Like we would be foolish to just let this go. There's so many, you know, characters out there to do. So, you know, what are we going to do? And um, and he did the, the fan poll. You know, that was yep. a, another thing where the, the unofficial fan poll that, that got out there. And, and we got a lot of kind of suggestions about who the characters were, and, and you guys are seeing the first of them right here tonight on this on the stream right before. So I mean, people are going to want to know. I mean, do should they expect anything more after Mar Martian Manhunter? Uh, yeah, they should definitely expect something more after Martian Manhunter. We're not done with this game yet. Um, as far as kind of like balance patches and stuff, uh, kind of like what Paulo talked about earlier. Um, you know, we're not going to have a balance patch out with Martian Manhunter. We're, we're going to take our time and, uh, and kind of let the game sit for a little bit. You know, after EVO and after all the tournaments that we've been watching, we've just been like kind of taking notes and talking to people. We had a, a really big dinner out at EVO um, with a lot of the testers that were that were here um, back in uh, back I remember in that February. Way. Yeah, so uh, you know, we talked a little about changes from then. We've been watching Twitter and, and reading all the comments and watching it. So uh, this next balance patch should, should be should be pretty cool. You know, we want to bring up as many characters as possible, um, you know, from the quote-unquote lower tiers uh, to kind of get up there and, and get on there. But if you look at actual tournament results, just like this past weekend, um, you know, Green Arrow was there, you know, in the end. Doomsday was there in the end. It wasn't just kind of a, the kal -El show. So it was a lot of stuff that was... Uh, that last tournament especially really showed that there were a ton of different people in the top eight. Mm -hmm. And I mean... With a balance patch, even that kind of stuff can keep getting shuffled, and that's that's really nice. And I'm glad, and they, they discussed it earlier. They're going to take their time, really listen to the community, listen to our our internal testing, and just kind of see what what kind of tweaks people might need. And I think that's good. We're going to take our time with that, and then get it out when we think it's truly ready. Yeah, definitely. You know, we, we want to make sure that that the, the game is uh, as fun as it could possibly be for not only for the people that are playing it, but even for the people that are watching. I mean, just like now, you know, we have. You know, almost 5,000 people kind of watching just a couple of guys playing. You want to make sure Derek and is there. Derek, Derek just beats just uh, beat Slips Martian Man. I'm bad on stream, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You do get like the tournament jitters. No, that was yeah, amazing. That was, uh, was just amazing. Frankly. Well, I think we talked, we kind of mentioned it, we talked about it earlier when we were kind of planning for this. Is like a game like Injustice or a lot of fighting games are, they're sort of like living entities. Like they, mm -hmm. they keep growing and evolving. And with that, sometimes you have to make changes to kind of help even that out. Yeah, you know, a lot of a lot of games nowadays, especially in this day and age, it's it's not like the arcade anymore, right? It's not it's not Ed and Paulo driving around and switching out, you know, <laughs> the boards in, right. in uh in arcades all around the, the city of Chicago. We actually have the technology to kind of, you know, adjust games on the fly and, and, and make it more interesting. And mm -hmm. obviously we want to prolong the life of the game by making these kind of adjustments around the around kind of like the characters coming out and stuff so that there's a big event and, and right. getting that on there. But you know, uh, we wanted to at least let a couple characters come out where there weren't any kind of balance changes just to see what was kind of out there. You know, these are the rules that are in place right now. Let's kind of let this go and, and keep it on there. So um, it should be good. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for the Netherrealm stream. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for, uh, for a lot of stuff that's been, uh, that's been going on. And this is definitely a test right now, too. Like, doing this stream was something we'd all, you and I talked about, you know, a month or so ago, or more than that, about wanting to really start kind of doing more of this. And if this works out, we'd like to do a lot more streams, right? And different stuff, not just like Injustice stuff. Play old games, run through old games, you know, just have a chat talking about, you know, anything. Any old NRS title we can play. Yeah, like, yeah, just totally. Using our so just to, uh, just to kind of keep that out to people and let them know, like, you know, make sure to follow Tyler at uh, Tyler Lansdowne. Make sure to follow Rigo at NinjaBoy66 on Twitter. And uh, any ideas that you guys kind of have for future content on the show, um, you know, make sure you let them know. And, and hopefully this is something that uh, that can continue to kind of, like, get on there. And another thing we didn't mention yet is I, I just noticed because my phone just started blowing up with Instagrams. Mm -hmm. We uh, do we have an Instagram account now. We don't have a lot of pictures up. We have three or four. And we're going to continue showing you studio culture and all sorts of things that are happening. More behind the scenes looks at how we make games. 
and that's Nether Realm Studios on Instagram. Uh, follow us, like our pictures. Yeah, uh, we'll have a lot of stuff on there. Yeah, people that are watching the stream right now, make sure you hit the follow button on our Twitch channel as well. Um, you know, we want to get as many people out there to kind of, kind of show the, the powers that be that you know there is a community out there, and we need to kind of like speak to them directly and stuff. Like this is a very uh, kind of new thing for us to kind of get out there in this thing. You guys should actually be playing Martian Manhunter next. I know you guys are just like trying to settle old beefs and stuff, but we should be playing more. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool to see this kind of stuff, but Slips is just going to win continuously over and whoa, over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we do we have... all saw the one. We saw the one. <laughs> he wanted to go out on a high note. We do have some fun information, though, yeah. um, for this weekend. What's that? Double XP. Double XP, that's right. This yep. weekend, we are going to actually do that. That is a, a cool thing. Uh, that we're gonna do. We know there's a lot of people out there that are unlocking those kind of like icons and mm -hmm. hero cards and stuff and want to get their numbers up. So this weekend we'll actually be doing um, double XP for all the all of your stuff when you get online. So make sure that you get online and play a bunch of matches. Uh, hopefully we see a lot of Martian Manhunters out there Absolutely. that are playing this weekend, and uh, it should be good stuff, man. We're really uh, we're really excited about the, what's going on. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, for me, I don't know if the stream has any other questions or if you guys have any of that kind of stuff. It should be uh, it should be pretty cool. And no, we're not going to talk about what the next character is. We will is. not speak of it. We will not speak of of what that thing is could possibly be. Right. Um, there's a lot of kind of conspiracy theories and stuff out there, but the focus should be on uh, on Martian Manhunter right now. Um, He's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool character. I think people will be into it and really excited to kind of see what uh, what the community comes up with. I'm sure tomorrow there's going to be a bunch of combos and you know combo videos and you know I'm sure a lot of people will be streaming them all day and it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a pretty cool thing. So we're uh, we're pretty uh, we're pretty excited about that and it's uh, it's going to be cool. With that, I think we might be done here from Netherrealm Studios. We'll let them. Uh finish out this match. Thank you everybody for joining us. It's been awesome to have this many people. And this will be on Twitch TV for those who want to see it later. You can watch it tomorrow if you want to. We really appreciate you all coming out. Uh, we hope to do another stream again. You can send messages to, to NinjaBoy66 or Tyler Lansdowne on Twitter. Any kind of ideas you have for streams or things you want to see from our games or who you want to talk to about our games, we'll see what we can do for you. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff coming. Um, there's a lot of buffs coming. There's a lot of normalization coming. <laughs> uh, there's going to be a lot of happy people that are out there. Um, you know, there's going to be some frustrated people, but there's also going to be some motivated people that are going to make sure that they continue to win with their chosen character. So well, yeah, uh, it's just like Paulo said. Like when the changes do happen, if that's when you go to the lab and you kind of learn what you lost but what you gained too. Exactly. Uh, Paulo doesn't take away without giving a little bit. He's kind of good like that. So, yeah, we totally appreciate everybody turning in. Uh, we didn't really plan on doing a super long show, so uh, so that's kind of it. Uh, you know, we did answer, uh, we didn't actually call out the people's names whose questions that we chose from Twitter, but all of the questions that we've been answering were actually questions that were uh, sent to us on Twitter as well. Uh, so, you know, aside from the five million, hey, is X and X the next <laughs> character, or, you know, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, a lot of the questions that we asked tonight were questions that were taken uh, directly from Twitter. In the future, we'll give you guys a heads up. You know, make sure hashtag NRS stream, uh, and we'll be able to see the questions. Yeah, we'll keep that. We'll keep that stream tag. So always use that one. And once this, once this match is over, we're gonna pack it up. Pack it up. And it actually it turned out pretty well because this is a close battle. Derek, oh Derek, don't, don't, please don't. Is Derek playing Scorpion? Yeah. Really close. No! Oh. Oh. 